This is Leighton Morgan. At 18 months old, he suffered a stroke and was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. Leighton is one of 10,800 people in the UK who are living with the incurable condition. Cystic fibrosis causes a buildup of sticky mucus in the lungs and digestive system. The condition can also contribute to a persistent cough and it makes Leighton more susceptible to lung infections. When he was born, he was given a life expectancy of roughly 40 years of age, a prospect his mum Jodie struggled to accept. The Crosby boy was in and out of hospital in his first year as he was hounded by viral and bacterial infections. Following the stroke, his family were told he would never walk or use his left arm again. Over time, he regained strength in the limb and eventually he could talk and swallow. Even now, Leighton has to take medication before eating so he doesn't feel sick. As he struggles to maintain weight, he is hooked up to a feeding machine for 10 hours a day. Last year, Leighton kept having asthma attacks which caused shortness of breath. He would be forced to use an inhaler several times a day. The NHS recommend daily physical activity for people with life-limiting conditions because it helps improve strength and overall health. During lockdown, Leighton and Jody started an Instagram account with videos of him doing exercises and challenges. The routine kept the then eight-year-old fit and motivated while inspiring others in the process. In January of this year, Leighton was introduced to what is described as a quote, miracle drug that makes breathing easier. Calf Trio became available to patients thanks to a landmark deal made by NHS England in June 2020. It was made available to children aged 6 to 11, more than 1,300 people, including Leighton. It led Jody to say, quote, I felt like someone had given me a cure. Now Jody can't even remember the last time Leighton needed his blue inhaler. Jody is proud of how far Leighton has come and hopes further medical advancements will see him wean off the feeding machine and medication.